How's it going you guys? Today we are building in Henford on Bagley um, and I chose the Cordelia's Secret Cottage lot. Uh, this lot is 30 by 20 and we are going to be building a tiny home actually on it. Um, I love building tiny homes on really big lots. I mean this is a 30 by 20 so it's not huge but it's pretty a big lot for a tiny home I think. Um, and I did want this to um turn out like a tier tier one ideally or a tier two but it does end up as a tier three um i feel like this always happens to me i make a shell and then i just have to make it bigger and bigger and bigger <laughs> um just to make everything work but yeah i think this build turned out really really cute i'm gonna try and give you guys um a little bit more info on the custom content that i've been using um, I took some notes, <laughs> uh, like those doors, for example, are by Pierre Sim, and I use a lot of custom content by Pierre Sim. Um, so the main, um, he, he makes like kits, I guess, like custom content kits. Um, so you're going to want to look at Domaine du Close, Winter Garden, and Oak House. I use a lot of those items uh, in this build and in all of my builds, honestly. Pierre Sim is one of my favorite custom content creators. Um, I believe those doors come from the Oak House collection. Um, and you can see also all of the walls and all of the flooring is from Pierre Sim as well from um, all of those kits that I just mentioned and also MCM. I don't remember off the top of my head what MCM stands for, but the wood flooring that I use is the MCM kit from Pierre Sim. Um, and yeah, the rest of the walls, all of the flooring is from that same creator. Uh, I'm just placing in the, my kitchen here. I've got those counters are from Honestly, I can't pronounce this one. It's P-Y-S-Z-N-Y. Um, I'll put a little text on the video and I'm going to also have a complete list um, either down below or there will be a link to that list down below. I haven't quite figured out how I want to do it. I'll probably um, make like a Tumblr page or something. Uh, and I've also been wanting to make a Pinterest of all of the custom content that I downloaded. Um, but I think a Tumblr would probably be easier for the time being. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this wallpaper. I think it is so cute and I've been wanting to use it. Um, I feel like I never really make bold decisions when it comes to my wallpaper. Um, but I wanted this one to, uh, to have some personality to it. So as you can see, I, uh, I do pick out a lot of, um, clutter items. I have, I end up putting some big shelves up in the kitchen and I just, you know, it's like a little cottage in the forest. I wanted there to just be stuff everywhere, uh, a lot of bottles, a lot of like little magical looking items. Um, and I got a lot of this clutter from Hydra. I have so many items in this build from Hydra. She, I'm assuming she <laughs> is such a... A talented person and an amazing content creator um, yeah there's so many items a lot of the really cool witchy looking items a lot of like the books and stuff that you see me use are all by Hydra um, there's also a creator named Leo and that's where I got um, that skull that you saw me place on the wall and there's also a geode that I use later on um, as well as some potion bottles um, another one a really great creator for witchy clutter is Sib um, just SYB. Uh, I got a lot of clutter from them as well as um, I think the desk that I end up using I believe is also from Sib. Um, so yeah I think yeah there we go with the shelves and these shelves I love. You'll see I place a lot of items on these shelves and I don't have to um, like move the shelves and alt place it at all. Like there are so many slots on these shelves um and so we're gonna it's madame ria is the creator of those shelves i use those all the time i love them because they have um there's a deep shelf which i have like on the bottom and then there's a shallow shelf which i placed on the top um, and i love that because you can just make it work for whatever it is you're building yeah and you guys can really see how well those shelves clutter like i 
I feel like you could just endlessly put more and more things on them. <laughs> um, oh, and another creator that I wanted to shout out real quick is my Shuno Sun. Um, I use a lot of bottles from them. Um, they have great kitchen decor, like those cutting boards. Um, I use them all the time. I think I've used them in almost every build that I have um, posted on my channel so far. Um, but also that cute little mushroom basket that I put on the kitchen counter, um, as well as some of the floral decor. They, it's just everything they have looks so good. Um, and it's very like Maxis match style. It's not too like alpha, you know, um, but I absolutely love this little bathroom. I feel like I say I absolutely love everything in this build, um, but I really do. I feel like, um, the style of this build is kind of most like um, my own personal style, like how my apartment looks. Obviously, my apartment isn't this cute, but um, I had a lot of fun with this nonetheless. Um, the So I got the, I don't, yeah, the bathroom sink I do end up going with is from that same creator, the P-Y-S-Z-N-Y. <laughs> Um, and my, the toilet actually comes from Mech to Sims, who, um, makes the Studio Ghibli set that I also include in here. I think I talk about that a little bit later. Um, yeah, this bedroom is tiny. <laughs> uh, I know it's a tiny house and I could have gone with a much smaller bed or like shoved the bed against the wall. Um, but I did just end up making it bigger. I think in the future, uh, when I make tiny homes, I won't always restrict myself to the, um, the lot size. Cause I love making porches and I feel like porches shouldn't count in tiny homes. Um, but they do. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love this little artist station that I placed in the bedroom. Um, the like little shelf on the wall and then this like little workstation um it's oni is the creator's name o n i um i believe that painting is also from that creator i do really like this shelf that we went with um just kind of getting everything to work yeah um hydra made those books um and there's a couple of books like that also that she's made um that i used in here Oh, and that, um, those books that I just placed, the two stacked on top of each other, um, Mecta Sims made those. And uh, Mecta Sims has a whole um, little kit of Studio Ghibli items. So there's a really cool candle, a cool oil lamp, and I think there's some other, there's like a table and some other items like that. Um, those books are the only items from that kit that I used this time, but I love using the little candle that they have. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend checking out Mechtisms for sure. And I actually did end up going back after, uh, I had taken the screenshots and I was looking at all of them lined up together. Um, and the desk area just looked so boring and bland compared to everything else. So I do, uh, clutter that space up a lot. You'll see it in the final screenshots at the very end. Um, and yeah, just kind of doing final touches, adding a nice Pierre Sim rug before we head outside to do the yard. Right, and we have finally made it outside. Uh, I need to fix uh, my poor planning. Um, but yeah, the, I just planted a little garden um, and I'm about to just throw a bunch of plants outside. Um, I love builds that I can just totally cover and I kind of took advantage of the space behind the house to just pack full with plants. <laughs> But I think that the exterior of this build turned out so cute, so cozy. Um, I do include a place out there to do laundry. And I actually have, I do have a base game, or not a base game, but an in-game um, drying rack. But I also have um, a custom content drying rack. And that is made by Sib. Again, I mentioned them before. Um, and I just think it's a little cute area out there with the big bucket to wash your laundry in. Um, I find laundry in The Sims to be so annoying, but I think that the decor of laundry in The Sims is so cute. Um, I just wish they didn't change their clothes. I mean, I know it makes sense to change their clothes, make dirty clothes every time they change their clothes, but it is just so much to keep track of in-game. <laughs> 
And as you guys can tell, this video is much shorter than my last video. Um, I'm kind of going to have a variety of video lengths. I'm not just going to try to stick to doing only short videos or only long videos uh, because I personally like longer videos, but I know that's not everybody's cup of tea and not everybody has time for a 40 minute video. <laughs> that is more than understandable. <laughs> and also sometimes I feel like some builds just take a lot longer than others. Um, and yeah, this one didn't seem to take that long for me. Um, of course there were a lot of parts that I cut out of me just like looking through <laughs> custom content and, um, you know, all of the build items, but I, I didn't, I feel like I didn't have to cut that much out. Um, you know, I'm saying that, but I had almost like three hours of footage, <laughs> so I did definitely cut out a lot, but, um, yeah, I think it's come along pretty nice. I know my screenshots are coming up soon, so I think I'll just leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video and enjoy those screenshots. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this build down below. Um, and if there's anything you want to see in the future, let me know if you have um, any questions. I know I listed a lot of CC um, in this video. I was talking pretty much the whole time. Um, but if there was anything I didn't list or something specific that you are looking for, just let me know um, and I'll see if I can find it for you. All right, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Oh